the whole that, date that. that. There you go. John, in just a moment, uh, the one, the only Kyle MacLachlan's going to be out here to join us here on stage. Yes. yes. In the house. Let's get it, Kyle. And uh, you ever watch any of the succession? Uh, Stewie. Oh, yes. Yes. Stewie from Succession is going to be out here in just a moment. Ooh. Arian Moyet is going to be out here. Oh, my goodness. Very excited to talk to our guest this evening. What do you got coming up, John? Oh, The weekend. Just literally The weekend. Oh, I thought you were going to hang out with The weekend. I didn't know what. <laughs> well, it's hard to, hard to tell these days what people are talking about when they say The weekend. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm excited about The weekend to do nothing. <laughs> oh, sometimes it's the most you can do, John. You know? Yeah. Sometimes you need to have a pause. Yeah. A pause for a worthy cause. That's right. You work hard, you work hard, but ultimately everybody's working for the weekend. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Lover boy? Lover boy? Chris over there was an overnight DJ when he was in high school. Did you ever play any Lover Boy? Sure. Can you name any other Lover Boy song other than Everybody's Working for the Weekend? Neither can I. <laughs> can anyone here name any other Lover Boy song other than Everybody's Working for the Weekend? Turn Me Loose. Turn Me Loose. <laughs> I have no idea what that song is. <laughs> Mark, you know it? How's it go? Oh, come, on. come on, how's it go? Why don't you turn me loose? Turn Me Loose! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Folks, if you watch the show, you know I spend much of my time right over there, planting and growing the day's biggest news in a parcel terroir at precisely 80 meters on a north-facing slope with just the right microclimate, then hand-picking only the ripest, most topical Botrytis pruned story grapes. After three pressings, I then carefully barrel-age their noble rotted nectar for 30 months exclusively in new oak barrels to bring out the aromas of tropical fruits, honeyed pears, and roasted nuts in the Chateau de Kem Sauterne that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, sometimes, folks, I wake up in a Bulgarian prison convicted of what my non-English-speaking court-appointed lawyer only calls animal wrongs. I trade the cigarettes, I wanted a bare-knuckle match with a guard for some fig marmalade, apple cores, and discarded ketchup packets. Toss it all in the plastic bag I stole off the cellmate Dragomir's foot while he slept. <laughs> Leave it under a fermenting pipe overnight to serve up the sour mash goon plonk of news that is my segment. <laughs> Meanwhile... A fermenting pipe. Meanwhile... Right there... Symmetrical. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Burgervania, Burger King's largest franchise is cutting their chicken nugget count as prices surge, which explains Burger King changing their slogan from have it your way to we all gotta make sacrifices and we're gonna need that straw back. <laughs> Apparently, the number of nuggets provided in a Burger King meal will go from 10 down to 8. But don't worry, the amount of chicken in the meal will remain zero. <laughs> Meanwhile... <laughs> Meanwhile, here in New York, Governor Hochul has outlined a plan to overhaul state liquor laws, including permanently legalizing to-go alcohol. That... That headline again, Stephen Colbert discovers that before now, just walking around drinking booze on the street was not legal. I don't know. <laughs> New Orleans. In New Orleans, you can have open oh, containers. Yeah, you yeah. can. You can have a daiquiri. Mardi Gras. Well, in addition to takeaway hooch, the governor is also considering allowing drinks to be served at movie theaters. Well, good, because there's, there's one thing drunk New Yorkers are famous for. It's sitting quietly and appreciating the maison scène. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Soccer star Cristiano Ronaldo went viral this week after he showered on Instagram Live. Good Lord! There are creases on that man's body I didn't know existed on human beings. <laughs> it looks like someone shrink-wrapped a Terminator. 670,000 people tuned into this showering and for some reason made comments like, very brave. No! No, it's not! It is not brave! If I took a public shower on Instagram Live, that would be an act 
of unbridled courage. If I looked like that, I would just burn all my clothes. Brave is taking your shirt off at a hotel pool when you look like a cinch sack full of raw chicken skins. <laughs> Not that. Very brave. <laughs> Meanwhile, an unused ticket to Michael Jordan's debut game sold for $468,000, although 400000 of that was Ticketmaster fees. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. That joke's based on a true story. Oh, 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 yeah. Meanwhile, in wearable fitness news, Fitbit has recalled 1.7 million smartwatches with a battery that can overheat. That sounds pretty dangerous. And as a Fitbit owner, I have one important question. Does this affect Fitbits that have never been removed from the box? <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Congo, a polygamist wed triplets on the same day after they all proposed to him. After meeting one, she introduced him to her sisters, who became equally smitten. And the man felt obliged to marry all of them because they are triplets. I didn't know you were obliged to marry three siblings just because you met one of them. I'm so sorry, Hemsworth brothers. <laughs> we'll be right back with Kyle McLaughlin. <laughs>